30 years ago, there were no stop signs on 30A. You could drive as fast as you wanted in the wintertime uh, because there was only two police officers. I think one was in the substation, the other one might have been asleep in his car. I know that's not the case now, Sheriff. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, it was amazing. And Seaside only had about eight or ten houses at the time. Uh, and there was the post office, there was Bud and Alley's building, and then there was, uh, there was uh, the little Seaside Grill, I think, next door. Oh, and Perspicacity. Uh, so yeah, um, it, was, it was an amazingly different place, but I still remember how it was. I mean, people actually still drove on the beach back in those days. Uh, and, uh, but it was still, 30A was a holiday area where people would come from Birmingham and Atlanta, and, uh, and they, would, they would drive and spend their weekends here and stay in homes that they had passed down from generations. So I think that was Robert's concept from the beginning. You know, he wanted it to be a holiday town. And you know, Seaside became such an inspiration right from the beginning. Uh, and, and I was excited to be a part of it. I just can't tell you at 24 years old, uh, my former business partner, Scott Wikoski and I, we, we just had this amazing opportunity to be on the ground floor of Seaside and to open the gathering place for Seaside and still to be here after 30 years, it's just phenomenal. I just, I couldn't be happier. In fact, when I travel other parts of the world, I can't wait to come home most of the time. Uh, and I can't wait to come back to work because, uh, you know, this is a, it's a beautiful place to be. And, and it's always great to work in a place that has great food, great vibe, and is beloved by the community. Uh, you know, I get such positive feedback from so many people over the years. And, and I've said this a million times. I mean, I, I've actually had the privilege of, of holding babies in my arms that eventually worked for me. Uh, so I think that's the advantage. It's almost like when you're a, a parent at an early age, you have the opportunity to, uh, to really be there through the whole, you know, a, a large portion of the life of that child. And that's how I feel about Bud and Alley's. You know, I was 24 when we opened it up. And then, you know, I just, I, now I'm, I'm kind of in middle age and I hope to live, live to be 90 to see it become, you know, 50 years old. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but, but I have a daughter that's six years old, and I'd love to have another child, and hopefully I can leave this to them. And, and do you have any advice for anyone, you know, uh, a restaurant staying around for 30 years that, that you've learned over the years? Absolutely. Um, I think having a very positive attitude is essential, uh, and, and trying to have a balanced life. You know, if you have a balanced life and you're happy within yourself, uh, that's the, the spark that inspires other people to work for you, to work for and with you, uh, and, and to follow that and pass that down to the folks that are working under you. Uh, uh, that is one of the keys to, to my success, I believe. It's just this positive attitude, um, understanding that, that whatever it takes, if you have people working with you uh, that, that believe in what you're doing, you can do anything, you can accomplish anything. That means you can get through the good times and really get through the bad times because that's when you need to get through them. Because you know we have hurricanes, we have all kinds of bad things that can happen. Even a beautiful setting and a wonderful setting like this, if you have people who are committed to your success and their success, uh, I don't think you, you can fail. And, and having the determination to, to do that is, is really important. Um, so that's, that's what I think. When you opened the restaurant, did you have any idea that you would be here 30 years, you know, later? Uh... You know, I never really gave it that much thought. Uh, I, you, I just never think forward that far. <laughs> I, I never could have imagined that I would have been here 30 years later. It's just that every year, nothing changed in the sense that you know we would we would get together in the springtime. We'd have our our first beginning of the year meeting after we've been closed for a little period of time and uh, and you know I have such low turnover here at the restaurant I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time we reopen every year uh, and and we just do it every year we open up we we get through our spring our hiring our summer we're busy the fall the weddings uh, the, 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 the holidays come and then we just crank it up and do it again and before you know it you go from year one to year 30. Uh, so it's just sort of a, a natural progression for me to think that we'll be here 30 years from now. I have no reason for me to question that we won't. <laughs> thank you. And thank you all.